Hi everyone, this is Catherine from Vitality. If you've never suffered from back pain yourself, it probably wouldn't take you very long to find somebody who has. So I know Valerie released a video a little bit earlier this month about how uh, a weakness of your core stability muscles might be causing your back pain. Another reason that we often find for back pain when people come and consult in osteopathy is digestive tensions. So oftentimes when people come in with back pain and in osteopathy we start to treat the abdomen, the stomach, the pelvis, they tend to look at us a little bit funny and not quite understand what our method of approach is. So one of the ways that I like to explain this is that all the, di all the organs in your body, including the digestive organs, have to be attached somewhere to the skeleton. If not, every movement that we would do when we'd roll over in bed, uh, when we would do any sport and fall, all of our digestive organs would get kind of mixed up and jumbled together and nobody would work properly. So in the rib cage, it's very easy. We have the whole ribs and the spine around us protecting the heart and the lungs. However, in the abdomen, all the digestive organs and pelvic organs have to come and attach to the low back and into the pelvis. That being said, if we've had any tensions in the digestive tract or the digestive system because of past gastro, uh, some food intolerances, inflammation, stress, etc., all these tensions can create an anchor in front of the back. And then these tensions are going to change the mechanics of the body when they move, taxing certain muscles to work a lot harder than they're meant to do. So oftentimes what the important thing to do is not strictly address the digestive tensions, but to loosen them up before we put a mechanical uh, correction in place so that the biomechanics of the body can stay functioning properly for a longer period of time afterwards. So we're all fairly familiar with more traditional back pain problems. So the most common one is a localized pain in the low back. Sometimes it travels into the glutes and often people will complain of referred pain down the leg or even into the foot when we're talking about more of a sciatica type back problem. But when we're looking at back pain potentially caused by a digestive problem, some of the, the symptoms and consideration that we want to take into consideration associated with the back pain would be bloating, cramping, gas, and some people will even uh, describe problems with more transit, either constipation or diarrhea. So these aren't always present. Sometimes they're, these symptoms are relatively silent as the body is still able to function and the back pain is what manifests, manifests first. So if you are interested or have suffered from back problems or suspect having digestive tensions, you can give us a call here at Vitality or check out our website at vitalitytherapy.ca. Thanks, see you next time.